What's up, y'all? What it do? Your boy is back on the grind. One more time, your boy is back at it again, you guys. And I just wanted to start off this video uh, a little bit different today, you guys. Obviously, I'm in the house with the little one, and he's smiling at you now. Say what's up, y'all. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, on a more serious note, you guys, uh, so this video was actually going to be me going to get the Caprice, which it still is. I'll still implement the footage and everything and just kind of upload what I have. Um... Uh, but one quick thing too, my phone might die because it's like on the red right now. So if it dies, I'll just cut it back on. But anyways, y'all, uh, I'll still upload what footage what, what I have. And we also stopped by to see the Regal as well because uh, I had to drop off some weather stripping to him. But anyways, you guys, I am really, uh, and I haven't posted this and I probably won't just because I just don't want to, but uh I'm definitely counting my blessings today, and I learned something um, also as well, too. So uh, when I went to get the Caprice, uh, my father-in-law met me at my storage unit. We loaded it up as normal. I've used the same trailer for years, and actually, I reworked the whole trailer wiring, so it's all dialed in now. But um, anyways, you guys, I uh, we loaded it up on the trailer. Shoot, we took this dang trailer to Texas with the caprice on it so i've i've rode on this trailer many many times but to make a long story short we loaded it up and then we left i got on the freeway and that thing going even like 30 miles an hour 40 miles an hour it started fishtailing like waving and i'm like what the heck's going on so i thought maybe it was a little bit windy so i thought i maybe caught a gust of wind or something and it kind of just threw it off and it would just eventually straighten itself out so Anyways, I sped up and it really started going. And I was probably only maybe a quarter mile down the road from the uh, from the off or getting on the on ramp to the freeway. And then that thing started just swaying back and forth. And there was some a couple cars near me, but not a whole lot. But then there was another truck and a camper next to me and he noticed it and then he backed off. There was another truck next to me and he backed off. And then they both actually put on their hazards and they kind of took over the, the lanes uh, just to kind of block the traffic. And then I got in the middle lane because that thing was just swaying and swaying. And I literally thought that I was going to, I, I literally thought this thing was gonna, the car was either gonna fall off or it was gonna topple over it and take me with it. And luckily the freeway was wide enough it was a straight shot, so there was no turns, no bends, so that was a positive. And there wasn't like an embankment going off the side. So if something were to happen where I went off the road, uh, I would have been somewhat, I don't want to say safe, but I would have been kind of more in the in a better situation if something were to happen, let's just say that. But I kid you not, this thing was going like... It had to have been at least like a minute. A minute of just like I'm talking the Caprice was on the trailer like woo woo like totally taking up about three four lanes on the freeway it was insane and I'm really surprised how well my Escalade handled because although I could feel it moving it really wasn't like fishtailing the car it was more so the 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 trailer and the Caprice just going side to side so uh, when it started kind of swaying a little bit, my stepdad always told me, he goes, if it, if, if, it, if it ever starts to fishtail a little bit, what you can do is just kind of lightly tap on the gas and sometimes it'll straighten out. So, but I've never done that with a car trailer before. And in small instances, maybe I have, just, but, but I was also going really slow. So I did that and that thing did not work. It started swaying even more. So I was like, oh shoot. So I immediately let off the gas and then I just rode it out, you guys. I didn't want to. I didn't want to hit the gas suddenly because it was just swaying so hard. I didn't want it to like jackknife. It does. It does have electric brakes on it, but you know, when you got a load behind you that's pretty heavy, heavier than your car, and then uh, you know it's gonna probably take a little bit more to kind of slow it down. So. I didn't know what to do, you guys. I knew I didn't want to just smash on the brakes. I, you know, I've never, ever, ever been in that situation before. So I just let it ride out. I just took my foot off the gas, the brake, and I was just kind of just letting it do its thing and let it slow down itself. 
And then sure enough, that thing started like swaying slower and slower and slower. And then I immediately got off and um, all the cars kind of slowly passed me, man. And, and I was just, I literally was just shaking. My arms were shaking, my hands were shaking. I did, man, I was, I thought, you know, you in those moments, you kind of react and then adrenaline takes over or whatever, but I literally thought, hold on, you guys, this guy, he's he's walking now, so he's like getting into everything. You can see he sees my water bottle, so he's like going after it. Yep, <laughs> just like that. But, uh, you know, in those situations, you guys, you, adrenaline takes over and you kind of, you, you, obviously you want, you, you're trying to save yourself and save the situation, but you're also kind of like getting ready for the worst and assuming the worst. And I thought like, I literally thought if, if this is going to be my last, you know, days or day here, man, like I'm not ready to go, man. I just thought about my son. Um, uh, excuse me. I thought about my, uh, sorry, y'all. Didn't expect to get emotional, but uh, <clears throat> whoo! All right, I thought about my son. I thought about my wife. I mean, I just wasn't wasn't ready, you know. So, anyways, let me compose myself. All right, I'm trying to make this quick, y'all, because he's all over the place too. But, anyways, uh. I was just thankful, man. I was just thankful. I literally sat in the car in the driver's seat for a good hot second and uh, got out, checked the straps, checked the car. Everything was good. Uh, but before I did that, I no, actually, no, I did that first. I checked the car. The car didn't actually move, you guys. I mean, the car has pretty much stayed exactly where it's at, so... Shout out to the Amazon good straps. They're like, you know, over 10,000, 11,000 pound rated straps. So anyways, those held up, but they were a little loose, but the car did not move. So that was a plus. The trailer handled flawlessly. And when I tightened them back up and after I checked the straps, I went over to the hood. I literally put my hands and my head down and I just, I just thanked the man upstairs, man, because that was, that was really a, a scary situation for me, you guys. I mean, you know, you got cars around you, you got, you know, people around you too. So you don't want to wreck. You don't want to get anybody else involved. Uh, and then, you know, I have a car that I've ha owned for, you know, seven, eight years. And I was kind of anticipating the worst, like that thing was going to fall off. And obviously I didn't want that to happen. And then I start thinking about the, the trailer and the car flipping over and, you know, I mean, the, the car, my car could have went upside down if it flipped, you know, and at that time, you know, I was, I probably got up to 50 miles an hour and then slowly it, it kind of started, you know, going down. But since the, the way of the trailer was going faster than I was, that's probably why I started fishtailing, uh, you know, it was pushing the car, especially since I wasn't hitting the gas. I was just <laughs> there just holding on for dear life, white knuckles, even though my knuckles are brown. <laughs> And I uh, was just trying to just trying to ride it out, you guys. But as you can see, uh, I was pretty shaken up about it. I immediately called my father-in-law and and uh, my wife, and um, I was in a rush to get home too. So you know, a lot of different things you know kind of happened during this situation, you guys. But but anyways, with that being said, we made it safely. And long story short, you guys, uh, some of you guys who are really into like some of you guys that are really knowledgeable about towing might already know, but I had the, the car, we had the car on a little bit further back. And, um, when I, after I started researching why the dang thing was fishtailing, uh, you always, I guess, want the car either kind of centered or a little bit ahead. And what all of our research is you wanted a little bit of ahead of the axle. So about a 60, 40 ratio is what I read. So about 60% of the weight on the front of the trailer and then uh, the remainder uh, kind of more on the rear of the trailer. So that way, um, basically you want to kind of level or from what I've seen, a little tilted forward. But you don't want a whole lot of weight either way because you don't want the weight riding on 
uh, more on one axle than the other, from my understanding. So if you guys know anything more about trailering, you can leave a comment here, you guys. Uh, but anyways, sorry to get emotional, you guys. I really was not expecting that. And uh, that just goes to show you, man, how much I, I care <laughs> about my family and being here and, you know, the things that I love to do. I, I don't I don't feel like it's my time yet. I feel like I got so much more. So anyways, enough of that. Um, but I just wanted to say that I'm thankful and I'm thankful to be here. I'm thankful for my little man. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for everybody. I'm thankful for what I have. Blessed for what I have. A roof on my head and a way to make a living and a way to connect with other people and you guys. So anyways, enough of that, you guys. So I'm going to actually go ahead and kick the video on and just film what I had. And then obviously it's going to stop at some point and then that's going to be it. So it'll just probably just cut off and then I'll just let it ride out, you guys. So anyways, if you're new to the channel, definitely about subscribing. Y'all hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Y'all, Mr. Griffin 23 in the building. Man, here we go. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Well, y'all, what it do? It's the next day. It's sunny, no clouds in the sky, 4th of July, and got to be thankful for another day to wake up and enjoy uh, this thing we call life, you know what I'm saying? But with life comes some challenges, man, and uh, as you guys know, I've been working on wiring this trailer and trying to drive out here to get this box Chevy, and soon as I get on the road, not even 20 minutes in, I already have my first mishap, man. But at least as you can see, we're still driving, we're still on the road. But uh, with that being said, something kept telling me to go back there and look, just to double check on some things. And I remember when I kept hooking up the trailer, well, what I was doing is I was, while I was wiring the trailer, I would back the car up to the trailer with the hitch on it. So that way, when I plugged in the connector to the car, I could give it enough slack. So I knew kind of where the mount of wires, how much wire to kind of leave. So, you know, the, the trailer can still move freely with uh, being attached to the car and whatnot. So long story short, I at least hope I thought I left enough slack in it, but uh, I'm thinking the connector uh, it might be either too long or I didn't have it plugged in because when I went back there to look and double check the, the little seven pin connector that, well, hold on, oh, wait, somebody is, man, I don't know what people be thinking on the freeway, man, like, people just, like, stop just for, like, no reason. I don't know if, like, maybe he thought somebody was getting over or something, but, you know, I'm pulling this trailer, man, and, like, there's nobody on the road and somebody just is going to stop, but anyways, man. Uh, so the connector actually wiggled itself out and it was dragging on the ground for who knows how long and the good news is it was still pretty much intact the bad news is is it was it was dragging on the ground uh, and it and it it pretty much ate away all the um, the uh, lifted tab portion the little slotted portion that you slide into the uh, connector it's kind of hard to explain but there's a there's a raised portion on the connector <coughs> that slides into a, a a track on the car on the connector on the car and that's what kind of keeps it in place and then the little cover that that uh, keeps the uh, debris and stuff out of the uh, connector that's on the car uh, well that has a little tooth that clamps onto it so when that tab goes far enough, it clamps down on the uh, on the uh, plug, so that way it can't wiggle itself out. So either I didn't have it plugged in all the way, or it's too long, or I didn't have enough slack. So hopefully that makes sense, you guys. Regardless, it came out. So what I'm gonna do is I actually have to get gas. Uh, there's a gas station up here that I uh, that I know that has a big parking lot area in the back. And uh, I'm gonna go back there right now. I must come up on the exit. And I'm just gonna double check on it. And also I'm gonna make a couple like tight turns and see if, uh, if I do have enough slack on it. Because what I'm thinking too, and what I wanted to try to avoid is when I turn the trailer, the, uh, basically the trailer doesn't pull out the, uh, the plug from the, uh, the connector that's on the car if that makes sense so it all makes sense when i show you here real quick but man 
if it ain't one thing, it's another. Cars, it don't matter. Old, new, it's always something, y'all. But uh, I'm about to exit right now. So what I'm going to do, take this exit, I'll pull into the back, and then I'll show you guys uh, kind of what I'm talking about. All right, you guys about to roll up to the gas station. Never mind my broken windshield, man. This thing's been broken for like a couple of years and I still haven't fixed it yet, but the crack just keeps bigger, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But let me go ahead and concentrate and try to pull in here real quick. All right, so here's a tight turn right here. So we'll see. Oh, kind of a tight turn. school caddy oh of course somebody gonna want to pull in but what I'm gonna do is I'll make this tight turn here uh, all right I don't want to go too tight on the turn I don't want to jackknife the trailer and then pull the plug out let's see no actually that's more slack than I was than I was thinking so my thought was this was being pulled out by this right here but actually I got plenty of slack so that's good so that's a good sign so I just think it just fell out man so you guys can kind of I don't know if you guys can tell probably not anyways under this there's a tab on this thing just on the top and you slide that tab in there, <clears throat> excuse me, and there's a tooth on this that, cause this thing is spring loaded, so it pops down and it sits behind that tab and that's what keeps it from backing out. But right now, I kinda have it rigged up so it doesn't come out, so that's a good thing. But I was thinking that maybe I didn't have this pin in because I kept putting in the hitch off and on, off and on, and then one time I left the pin out just because I got tired of keep putting it in, but probably a bad habit uh, that I don't want to get used to so I should just put the pin in every time but it scared me for a second so yeah y'all I think I think we're good so that's good news so let me just double check the lights my car is dirty y'all the only dirty car in my fleet all right lights work here Good. Lights are working. Well, that's good news. I'm glad because that means I left enough slack on it. So that's that's a positive. Let me turn on these blinkers. So everything's still working. You can see it blinking. I know the other blinker works so that when I pulled over, I'd use that. So let's see if the hazards work. All right, y'all, so hazards working. Okay, so we good. So I just think either you know it's from amazon y'all so <laughs> but it got good reviews so that's good but either i just didn't have it plugged in all the way the plug was kind of funky actually when i plugged it in the first time it wouldn't go all the way in the little tabs inside of that connector were too tight so i uh opened them up pushed it back in and either it just wasn't catching or something and i didn't know it uh, or something happened so that kind of sucks but anyways it could have been far worse I could have went all the way down there and had no lights no brakes on the trailer or anything so anyways I think we're good to go this actually makes me happy so I don't have to rewire any of that or pull it up or anything because I zip tied like everything down and it's like super tight so I'm gonna have to figure out something. Maybe I can rig up something on that plastic since this is encased in that plastic. Maybe I can rig up something where I can kind of build a tab from like epoxy or something like that just to kind of save it because this thing's brand new, man. I don't want to redo it again, but if I have to, 
I will. All right, y'all. So what I'm gonna do right now then is I'm gonna go ahead and fill this thing up because I'm getting low on gas. I'm at a quarter tank. And uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and I actually gotta stop by my buddy Chris's house. He, uh, he has my Regal, as you guys know. And I'm gonna drop off some parts to him that he needs. And then we're gonna check out the progress on it, see what he's got done. And then we're just gonna go from there. So anyways, you guys stay tuned. Go get this gas real quick. And then I'll holler back. Uh, maybe I'll get some footage of the Regal, we'll see. So anyways, you guys stay tuned. More to come, y'all. Yeah. All right, y'all, pulling up to my storage shed. Uh, I didn't get any footage of me uh, talking with Chris, but as you guys saw, I got some footage of the car and um, turned out pretty good. He's actually very pleased with it. He says it's really clean, really nice. So all in all, it should be a pretty straightforward uh, deal, hopefully. So uh, he's, he says he wish he was a little bit more further along, but uh, you know, family and that kind of thing, you know, other obligations uh, cause him to be a little bit further back than what he wanted to, but that is all right, man. I know he'll he'll knock it out, and I'm, I wasn't planning for him to be done in any specific amount of time anyway, so, but right now, pulling up to the storage unit, so father-in-law is going to meet me here. My wife actually forgot my, uh, my stand because I wanted to film loading it up on the trailer and whatever so i don't have my recording stand so don't know how much i'll be able to get probably not if any at all but we'll see so all right y'all we in the storage unit gonna see if this dang thing gonna start battery has power i always disconnect the negative when i store it but everything's flowing Let me prime it a couple times. leave it running for too long because I think I got a gas leak and I don't want to be dripping fuel all over so I'm gonna go ahead and back it out the gas leak is coming from somewhere in the tank probably one of the lines Father-in-law should be rolling up any minute too. Man, it feels good to be back in this thing though.
see if it's leaking real quick. Power windows, which I know about. Damn, boy! This thing has been stored for months, you guys. <clears throat> no drips, no leaks, no nada. Ooh, windy today. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tilt this trailer up. My father-in-law is just rolling up right now. Let me go ahead and do this. I don't think I'll be able to get any footage of me putting it on but we'll see so rolling right up behind me yes sir all right you guys stay tuned I mean, when I hit the brake, I don't, I don't feel like any push. push. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I can actually kind of hear them Big engage a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it works fine. The only thing that... I mean, <laughs> so, I must have either didn't have the plug in all the way, oh. or maybe it's too long or something, but I didn't really check. I pushed it in, and I thought it caught, but when I... Something kept telling me, I was like, just double, like, double check it, double check it when I'm dri I was already driving. Oh. And I was like, and I was like, nah, I think I did everything. And then it's kind of, something that bothered me, like saying, check it, check it. So I pulled over outside the freeway, checked it, and it was just bouncing. It was like dragging oh, was, the it, plug. It, yeah. It out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, See how much. I use that good center. Yeah. 